Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, I know many of us use the internet and we know what social networking is and sometimes there is a trend or a popular challenge or activity that everyone almost all around the world like to do and in this case I like this a lot because it's very cute, it's funny and it's also kind of safe all right so beware or be careful sleeping babies the Cheerio challenge Cheerios are the small little um, cereal pieces right so it started as a silly way or funny way to pass time so when you're passing time you're just trying to not be bored and trying to do something fun right uh, one Californian father named Patrick Quinn felt bored watching his three-week-old son Maxton sleep. So again, when we want to pass time, we don't want to be bored, right? So, a full bowl of Cheerios cereal stood near the sleeping baby. For entertainment, for fun, Quinn placed one cereal ring on the infant's nose. So right there on his nose, he put one ring. He kept stacking. Stacking means put one next to each other, right? We can see that they're stacking the Oreo, I mean Cheerios. Stacking the Cheerios and snapped a picture before the stack toppled over. So before it fell down, he took a picture. A photo of Maxton's nose topped with five pieces of Cheerio Tower spread on the internet. So people were sharing the video, right? It's spreading to different countries and different computers. This silly way of passing the time, not being bored, led to the birth of the Cheerio Challenge. This is the photo that started everything. Quinn manages social accounts for a parenting website called Life of Dad where he posted the photo. So there's a website, the Life of Dad, right? And it's a website for fathers who want to take care of their babies. And Patrick Quinn's, his job was managing or taking care of the accounts. So when parents, they want to join the website, they have to uh, join, they have to put in their name, their account number or their name and their password, their secret password and that is an account right in the computer and he manages it, he takes care of it. Then he challenged all the fathers to beat his record. He's telling them, I challenge you, I did five, you try to do six and you try to do more than six. The next morning, photos of sleeping babies with stacks of Cheerios flooded social media sites. Flooded means like when there's too much rain, there's a flood, right? So when we flood it with pictures, that means there's so many pictures. The winner, one creative father who stacked 20 Cheerios on his forehead. So forehead, we're talking about this area right here. Uh, the top of your eyes and be, be below your hair. So how do you do the Cheerio challenge? Ready? Get a box of Cheerios, tiptoe beside a sleeping baby, be very quiet, and one at a time, stack as many Cheerios as you can on their forehead, right here. Take a picture and post it on, the social, on a social media account with the tag Cheerio Challenge. All right, we have three review questions here. A, who started the Cheerio Challenge and why? Patrick Quinn, the original father, felt bored watching his son sleeping and started it to blank time. So again, when you are bored and you want to just sort of not be bored and you want to do anything, anything that seems a little, you know, interesting to you, we say we pass the time. Passing the time means you're just waiting to do something boring. So he's just waiting to watch his son sleep. He's waiting for him to wake up. So he needs to pass the time, meaning just do anything that is interesting. B, how did the Cheerio Challenge get famous? Quinn posted the photo on a parenting website 
and many fathers try to blank his record. So Quinn's record was how many Cheerios did he stack? It was five. So his record was five and many other fathers, they try to do six or they try to do seven. They are trying to be the winner, right? They are trying to beat his record. So if there's five and they beat the record, then they get six. And if they get 10, then they beat the record again. They're winning against the record, which means, you know, how, what was the highest number? C, how many Cheerios did the winner stack? One creative father stacked 20 Cheerios on his child's blank and became the winner. So this one, we're talking about the, this area right here, the body part above the eyes and below the hair right there. And we call that the forehead, right? Uh, this area right there. Okay, we have three review terms here. A, a full blank of Cheerios cereal stood near the sleeping baby. So, uh, we're talking about something that can hold cereal, maybe a cup or maybe a container or a box. But in this case, <coughs> it's going to be a bowl. So a full bowl, the bowl is full all the way to the top. And inside, what's inside? Cheerios, cereal, stood near the sleeping baby. Stood, like stand, it doesn't mean like a person, he's standing up. It just means it, it was there. It was placed there, it's resting there. All right, B, for entertainment, Quinn placed one cereal ring on the blank nose. So for fun, the father, he placed the cereal ring on the baby's nose, right? Another way to say baby or very, very young baby, we say an infant. So the infant's nose or the baby's nose, the young baby's nose. C. Quinn manages or takes care of social blank for a parenting website called Life of Dad. So on this website, Life of Dad, many people sign up, they want to register, and they make sort of their own account, right? So each person, when they join a website, they have their own account. They have their own account name, their own secret password, and things like that and he manages it, his job is to take care of this website. So to review, bowl is you know, what we use to put in cereal and what we use to put in soup. We have a bowl of soup or we have a bowl of rice. Infant is another way to say baby or a young baby. And account is a one person's special information in a website or it could be in a bank, right? Everyone has their bank accounts, right? We don't share one account. You have one account, your father has one account, each person gets one account, all right? So next time, if you happen to have some Cheerios or any other snack that looks like it and a sleeping baby and the mother's permission, then you might wanna try this in a safe way, all right? So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.